First of all, Merry Christmas everyone! Secondly, welcome to Blackthorn Prod! I'm Noah and since at the time of recording it's the 25th of December, I've decided to make a small, easy tutorial on how to make some cool looking snow effects in Unity that you can then use in whatever festive or atmospheric game you intend or are currently creating. So with that said, let's get cracking. So I have already a little scene set up with a few simple assets such as a snowy ground, a blue gradient background and this little character. All these were made in Photoshop but obviously you don't need these to follow along. They're just there to add some flavour to the scene. Let's spice up this environment even more by creating falling snow. I'll go over to Create, Effects and Particle System. As you can see, or perhaps what you can't see, are the particles. They're not there. You may encounter this problem, especially in 2D, but do not worry, it's fixed in a matter of seconds. Simply browse through these pack of particle editing options until you find Renderer. There you can tweak, like with sprites, the particle effect order in layer. I currently have my blue sky background sorting layer set to 1 and my snowy grounds set to 10. Let's say I wanted my snowfall to render in front of the sky but behind the ground. To do so I'll simply type in the number 5 and you'll notice that I can now see some ugly default looking particles. Firstly, let's change the overall appearance of each individual sprite. Unity has an awesome feature where you can turn a sprite into a particle. To do so, we have to enable texture sheet animation. Change the mode to sprite and simply drag and drop whatever sprite we want. As you can see, I've made two very simple looking sprites in Photoshop. Making these took me exactly one minute. All I did was take a white brush, paint in a snowflake shape, crop the image, make sure the background is transparent, and export the file as a PNG into my Unity project. So I'll drag and drop this sprite into that slot, and you'll notice some extremely ugly behavior. To get rid of this quirk, simply set the render's material to sprite's default. So to recap, when using this texture sheet animation option, you need to set it to this material or run into some problems. One great tool to keep in mind is simulating the effect directly in the scene view, without having to press play every single time. Simply select the particle system and hit simulate. You can then easily and quickly edit your effect. Of course, you can then hit pause or stop if you're done. So the next few steps we are going to take are really going to bring our snowfall to life. Let's begin by changing the shape our particles are emitting from. You'll notice that Unity proposes a bunch of various shapes. Definitely play around with these and choose what works best for you. As for me, I'll just pick the cone shape. I'll then tweak its size and rotation so particles fall down the whole scene. With that settled, I'm now going to tweak the emission rate. In other words, how many particles are spawned every second. Here you have the choice between a constant emission of particles or bursts. To demonstrate this, here we have a simple effect using a constant rate over time and here is the same effect, but in bursts. For a snow effect, we'll definitely use the rate over time. Simply increase or decrease this number until you are happy with the amount of falling snowflakes. This snowfall still looks very dull. Let's continue by tweaking the particle's size. Either you can have a constant size, meaning each individual particle has the exact same size or, and usually to much greater appeal, you can have the size vary between two numbers. You can do so by clicking on the little arrow and choosing random between two constants. I'll now type in the min and max value for my particle's size. 
and that already makes a big difference to our scene. But let's not stop there. I'll do the same for color, meaning I'll choose random between two colors and choose a pure white and another pure white, but with a little transparency. As we're at it, I'll make each particle fall down at a different speed. I want my snow to be slow and relaxing, so I'll type in relatively low numbers for my min and max values to get a nice floaty feel. Our snow has really come to life now. Lastly, I'll add a touch of noise to our effect. I'll set strength to something like 0.1. This will make each particle float to the ground in a slightly irregular line, much more realistic and appealing than a straight shoot downwards. Now let's hit play and see how it feels. You'll probably notice, however, that when I do so, the snow takes a few seconds before covering up the scene. I certainly don't want this, so I'll go over to my particle system component and enable the pre-warm option. Now when we hit play, we are immediately greeted with a nice snowy scene. Before wrapping up the video, let's add a tiny bit more to our wintry land. I'll duplicate the effect and change the sprite of the texture sheet animation to this second flake I showed you earlier. I'll then drastically decrease the emission rate, as well as the size. Finally, to make this effect really pop, let's make each flake rotate slightly, while falling to the ground. To do so, I'll enable the rotation over lifetime option, and set the angular velocity to something like 0.45. Pressing play, I can now hop around a lovely, snow-covered scene. Awesome! Well, I hope you've enjoyed the video and found it helpful. Obviously, many of the techniques shown here can be used for a pack of different effects. I really urge you to practice using them. For inspiration, here's a list of things you can try making. With that said, I thank you so much for watching. To make my Christmas that much more special, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. Okay, I hope you have a great day. See you very soon. Cheers.